good person. I, I, I at least like to think I am. I don't freaking know. You'd have to freaking tell the Lord himself. You gotta ask him. Oh, is he is he Puggers? And then if he says yes, boom, I'm Puggers. But maybe not, maybe not. I like to think so, though. So we're gonna stick with that. Here's the thing, though. One thing that you gotta know about me is that I, all the time, have always been not an athletic sort of individual. I mean, freaking look at me. I, 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 I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy, kind of built like, kind of built like a Rubik's cube. My my friend has sometimes referred to me as a backslash, is his description of myself, and I think that can be somewhat accurate. But I absolutely despise him for it because he tells the truth, and they hated Christ because he told the truth. And I don't think any story that I've ever told has made that fact more clear than this one that I'm going to tell. And by the title of it, you know that it's it's not pretty. It's it's not gonna it's not gonna be cool. It's not gonna be fun. It, it's gonna be fun for you. It's not gonna be fun for me. But I feel like I should tell this story because somebody's gonna get enjoyment out of it. So, you know, why not? And hey, if you like watching my type of stuff and all that type of stuff before we go any further, um, do it. So this is how I know I'm a good person. It's because I've done humanitarian stuff. And this whole story starts with a trip that I was invited to go on. This trip was a mission trip and it was going to be going to Guatemala, right? And the idea was that we were going to go to these different schools and we were going to set up these vacation Bible schools and we were going to, you know, meet with the kids and hang out and like help however we can. So we get on the plane and we start going and I sit down. I don't even remember what airline it is. I think it's American. Ironic because we're going to another country, but it's American. I sit down and you know, I'm a big guy and I sit down. I have long legs and so my, my knees freaking ram into the person in front. And I can't really do a whole lot about that. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. And then it's like, oh, whatever. It, it is what it is, right? And then the person does like the most, like the, the thing that you don't do on planes and leans back their chair. They freaking go. This is how non-confrontational I am. I am in severe pain because my legs are already crammed and then this person has crushed my legs into freaking stone. Like I'm a freaking serpentine monster and I'm freaking going into going into the temple of doom from indiana jones i don't even know but the point is i'm in freaking pain and they go back and i don't say anything i simply sit there the the flight attendant walks by and uh set and looks at me and says and says to me uh, are, are you okay and i say can i get a coke and then I get my Coke. Everybody else gets ginger ale. What's the point of having freaking ginger ale on planes? I don't get it. Like, it's it suddenly like, nobody likes ginger ale. Nobody does. I've never met a single soul that when they're in a restaurant or they're at the store, they're like, you know what I need? I need some freaking ginger ale. I need to be able to chew on some ginger ale. That's what I need right now. And then people go on planes and suddenly it's the only drink. It's the only drink you want. I don't get it. Does, does it help with the stomach? If it does, you're a liar and you're a fool and I hate you because you're lying to me. You simply want to act like you're better than everybody else because you're ordering ginger ale. This is besides the point. I had a point. I had a point. I'm getting to the point. I haven't, got, I haven't even gotten to the Fortnite part yet. So we land and we set up the vacation Bible school and figure out what our game plan is. And that day, I was in charge of like speaking and stuff. I wasn't really doing the activities. I was in charge of like the actual teaching at the Vacation Bible School for these kids, and the kids were freaking fantastic. They're amazing. Probably shouldn't show pictures of them because that would be weird because they're children and don't have their consent, and they don't have their parents' consent, so I'm not gonna do that. The place, at least the, the area that we were at in Guatemala, it's all on a hill, right? And it's all on the super steep incline, and I'm not a very athletic guy, and so I'm walking around and I'm like, <sighs> 
<sighs> I'm like EDP when he sees a cupcake. I'm like, <sighs> <sighs> so it's about halfway through the week, and it's my birthday. It's it's funny how that turns out. It was my birthday during the trip, and so we were walking around, and they were like, oh. Uh, it's his birthday and stuff, and they sung happy birthday for me, and it was all fun and super, super awesome. And we kept on doing this, uh, doing our vacation Bible school. And during this vacation Bible school, there was a, a worship part. And if you know anything about church worship and kids ministry worship in general, it's like the whole, the whole God Squad idea. So we were the God Squad in this case, where we were like doing the dance moves and stuff like that, and we were showing all of that. And so everybody got into a big crowd of people, and we started doing these dance moves. So, like, it would be stuff like... Because, you know, he, he moves mountains, right? So... And, like, and you're giving him your heart. So it's like, here, here's my heart for you. But now it looks like I'm Italian, but you know what I mean. I'm giving you my heart. That's how... That's the point. That's the point. And so we're doing these. We're doing these dance moves and all that type of stuff and I'm going crazy I'm freaking jumping around I get really into it when it com comes to that type of stuff anybody that knows me will tell you that so I'm like jumping around I'm getting people involved and I'm like yeah yeah let's go let's go Woo! and yeah and all the kids are like yeah 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 oh my gosh and like they're like yelling about the blood of the lamb and his sacrifice and stuff but they're like doing it in like a in, in like a in, in such a way that it, it's like a freaking it, it's a freaking k-pop concert in there but they're talking about the blood of christ and it's like yeah he died and he was on the cross and they nailed him there Ooh. <laughs> in that moment i realized if anybody that had no context with christianity walked in they would freak out they would freak out if they saw a bunch of children talking about sacrifice and rituals and blood and so that all ends and i tell you that part because I did not get injured during that part. Oh, no! 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 no. Ah! My ears burn. White people be. I did get injured right after though. So afterwards, all of these kids were like doing stuff and they were playing soccer and stuff. And I see these two kids, and they're doing Fortnite dances. <laughs> because Fortnite was huge at that point. It was like what 2017, I think. Like, that, that range. 2017, 2018, when Fortnite was, like, huge. Like, it was its real big part. I'm not super hip with the drive. I'm not down with it. I'm not down with the sickness. Most of the time. But I knew that. And so I was like, oh. This is something that we can bond over. This is wholesome. This is sweet. Nope. I walk up. And I say, hey, check this out. And I start doing the freaking floss. And I go side to side. And then I keep on picking up speed. I keep on picking up speed. It's all good. It's all good. We're, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. My right knee pops out. And at that moment, it was like that one SNL skit of like Andy Andy Samberg, I think. And he's like shooting the guy. And it's like. <laughs> Disney death scene with how it is. It's like Mufasa falling off of the cliff and I hit the ground and my knee pops back in. So luckily I don't I don't have a dislocated knee for the rest of the time there. But it freaking hurt. And I'm like, ah oh, dang it, I freaking sprained my leg. And so I hobble over to the to like an edge, a ledge where I can like sit down. And I'm just sort of sitting there. And I tell one of the leaders, hey, I, I fell and I freaking hurt. Um, I'm going to sit over here. And they're like, okay. Uh, one, of the, one of the people that I went on the trip with was like, hey, Connor, let's go take a picture. Can you take a picture with us? With some of the kids and stuff. And they were super eager and super excited. And I'm like, I just sprained my leg. But I didn't do anything worse to it. And so I stand up and I hobble over like a freaking, like, like it's freaking Virginia in the 1860s and I'm freaking hobbling over and I take my phone and I'm going to post the picture right here. And you can see how I am just bracing through the pain. And then 
I realize Guatemala, at least the place that I was at, is all on a hill. And I look down and I just got to brace. And so I turn and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to freaking do anything here. And they're like, oh crap, he's not going to be able to do anything here. And so they hop, they get two guys and they basically just pick me up as we're walking to the freaking bus. And then they're like, Connor, we're going to take you to a hospital. And then they take me to a hospital. And there I realized that I had torn my MCL completely off the bone. I'm not going to go into vivid detail, but it's exactly what you think when I say those words. It's exactly the, what you think happened. This is the first time that I've been in a hospital since I was born. And it was in Guatemala. And it was after I did a Fortnite dance. I'm going to leave you with this because this is the... This is the pinnacle of the story. The next year, I get invited to go to a South Africa mission trip. And we go to our first introductory meeting. And they're going over the contract about insurance that the church provides. The insurance that they provide, travel insurance. And there's all of these new people. And the person speaking says... Is Connor in the room? And I raise my hand. And she looks at me and says, Don't be playing Fortnite like you did last time. Oh, it's impossible and I haven't been the same since.